eight waste of lean manufacturing anything that does not increase value in the eyes of customer must be considered as waste or muda and every effort should be made to eliminate this eight deadly waste of lane so without wasting any further time let us look at each one of them in more detail hello and welcome to yet another video series from digital learning your one stop solution for all your learning needs so what are eight waste of lean so eliminating waste was one of the ideas of the founding fathers of lean manufacturing taichi ono he identified three major areas that have a negative impact on work process so these were muda muri and mura one of those groups muda that is waste groups the all the wasteful activities that take place so before diving into the eight waste it is important to understand what the waste is waste is any action or step in a process that does not add any value to the end customer in other words waste is any process that customer does not want to pay for it so everything that is done in a company is divided into two groups so one we have value added activities and other one is the non value added activities or waste generally speaking the value added activities is nothing that customers pay for it and the waste is anything that customer does not care about and if you look over the graphical display around 5% of the activities that we do is the value added rest 95 is the non valued added activities and what are our customers paying for it so they are paying for value added or the non value added activities so we must make an aim to reduce this non value added activities and focus more on value added activities traditionally lean identifies eight different categories of waste which is given by acronym as downtime d o w n t i m e where d denotes the defect o denotes the over production w denotes the waiting time and denotes the non utilized talent T denotes the transportation or transport. I denotes the inventory. M denotes the motion, and finally the E denotes the excess production. Let us look at each one of them in more detail. The first category of waste. is transportation so transportation is nothing but the unnecessary movement of raw material working process or finished good the actual transportation of product adds no value and is therefore essential to minimize this cost and avoid moving material or resources in lean manufacturing movement is very important from delivery trucks of supplies and product to the movement of machinery and people often the transportation may force you to pay additional for time space and machinery in general transportation waste can be caused by poor plant and office layout unnecessary or excessive steps in the process misaligned process flow and the poorly designed system let us look at some of the counter measures that you can take to avoid this transportation waste first is the value stream mapping where you can design a linear and sequential flow of raw material from to finished good you can eliminate all the processes steps that does not add any value continuous flow make sure working process is not placed into the inventory and there is a continuous flow of work that is happening 
theory of constraint avoid continual changing of job priorities so these are some of the counter measures for avoiding transportation waste the second category of waste is the inventory so it is the product either raw material or working process or finished good quantities that goes beyond supporting the immediate need so these excessive inventories is often the result of company holding the just in case inventories in such cases company overstock themselves in order to meet the unexpected demand or protect from the production delays however these excessive inventories often don't meet the customer need and don't add any value they only increase the storage cost and the depreciation cost so any kind of material that you have but you are not working on it right now is a waste you have already paid for it but it is mainly sitting in your inventory which is adding around 50 to 60 percent of its total value so this inventory basically hides all your waste and reducing the inventory will uncover the opportunities to improve so you can uh, in general inventory can be caused by overproduction misunderstood customer needs long setup time poor monitoring system and unreliable suppliers just in case and when we talk about the countermeasures to for avoiding this waste inventory you can just follow the just in time philosophy one piece flow talk time kanban and SMAD that is single minute exchange of ties. The third category of waste is motion, where motion is the unnecessary movement of people, movement that does not add any value. This kind of waste includes movement of employees or machinery, which are complicated and unnecessary. They can cause injuries, extended production time, and more. In other words, do whatever is necessary to arrange a process where the workers needed to do little bit as possible to finish their job. In general, motion waste can be caused by poor shop floor layout, workstation congestion, lack of standards, isolated operations. and the countermeasures for avoiding this motion could be to have a five ways working management system in place develop a value stream mapping one piece flow better work and people planning the fourth category of waste is waiting so the waiting occurs when someone in the process chain waits to take the next action in the process and the process of task is slow or halted time is wasted and if employee is waiting on completion of the previous task they cannot start the next process patience may be a virtue in the one personal life however in lean manufacturing it is a cancer the time is money line didn't come from nowhere it is so true in lean manufacturing waiting on things to begin in business is a slow killer in momentum and in production time so when the goods or task are not moving waiting occurs this is probably the easiest waste you can recognize it is also identifiable because lost time is the most obvious thing you can detect it could be the goods waiting to be delivered it is a time for equipment waiting to be fixed etc so in general waiting waste can be caused by unbalanced workload unplanned downtime long setup time insufficient workforce poor process quality and the countermeasures for avoiding waiting are continuous one piece flow where you where you design a process so that the flow is continuous and there is minimum waste in between the steps use the standard operating procedures Desi develop a value stream mapping for your product 
the fifth category of waste is overproduction that means producing more than your customer is requesting or before they request it that means you actually exceeding the customer demand which leads to additional cost actually overproduction triggers the other six categories of waste the reason is that with excessive products or task additional transportation excessive motion greater waiting time is required and if occasionally a defect appears during this overproduction time it means that your team have to work more to build more units overproduction ties up with capacity material time and other resources that are not needed in fact you are paying today what you may need to pay one week from now this is a serious type of waste because it leads to excess inventory that often adds to the additional cost overproduction in general is caused by if you are following this just in case production strategy your customer needs are not very clear you have a very long setup time production based on forecast or poor applied automations and when we talk about the countermeasures for overproduction so that is the just in time follow the word when it, when you need the product only order at that time then you have the tag time cycle time and lead time where you pace your production so that the rate of manufacturing matches the rate of customer demand and single minute exchange of dies where reduce the setup time to smaller batches that can be economically manufactured the sixth category of waste is over processing it is the additional process or steps that does not add any value to the end customer this is often one of the most difficult ways to detect and eliminate this type of waste usually reflects on doing work that does not bring additional value or bring more value than the required by customer such things can add additional features or to the product that nobody is going to use but they increase your business cost and the cost of the end product for example if if you are a car manufacturer and decides to put a tv screen in the back trunk of vehicle probably nobody will use it or find it valuable even more it will cost resources it will also increase the end price of a product for something that customer are not willing to pay for it so what are the counter measures for avoiding this over processing compare the customer requirements to the manufacturing specification simplification of manufacturing process process the reevaluation develop a value stream mapping and some of the examples that we can find out for over processing could be the over designed equipments like this then we have the re entering of data and duplication of data misunderstood of customer needs the seventh category of waste is a defect so defect occurs when the product is not fit for use every organization fear this word defect because it adds to rework the process needs to be redoing or reviewing the whole system which increases the cost and requires more manpower defect can cause rework or even worse can lead to scrap usually the defective work should go back to production again which costs the valuable time moreover in some cases the extra reworking area is required which comes with additional exploitation of labor and tools and defect could also be any product which does not meet the customer expectation and must be replaced replacing defect cost human resources and potential loss of customers and thus revenue the production that is scrap or requires rework has to be taken care some of the causes of rework or defect can be a poor quality control system poor repair and documentation lack of standards weak and missing processes untrained workers and the countermeasures for avoiding the defect 
uh, you can have a poker uk as a system jdoka i will identify the root cause of a defect and the standardized work create a work instructions that provide a consistent method of manufacturing a part the eighth and the last category of waste is the unutilized skill an extremely important form of waste that is hardly recognized within the seven deadly waste so one of the reasons that this form of waste is underutilized or even ignored by companies is that the responsibility for it lies squarely on the shoulders of management unused human potential often results from management policies and management styles that diminish the employee's contribution in general unutilized skill can be caused by wasteful admin task poor communication lack of teamwork lost motivation and lost creativity insufficient training and lack of ideas and the countermeasures for avoiding this unutilized skill can be proper communication channel hiring competent workforce proper training plan and skill based job so these are your eight deadly waste and we talk about the goal of lean manufacturing is to eliminate all these waste giving your production system a big advantage however it is easy to identify all these waste but it is much more difficult to remove them from the system additionally do not also neglect the other two evils mura and muri that is unevenness and overburden they also have a significant negative effect on your manufacturing system so that is all i have on this video see you soon in my next video